Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for a bit of a toy news update for you. We're going to be talking about the brand new Turtles of Skull action figure line, so a special shout out and a thank you to the fine folks over at Mattel and their Masters of the Universe brand for sending over these photos and giving us a little something to talk about. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. First and foremost, when I saw the initial mashup, and kind of knew that these were coming, right? You kind of think, okay, uh, how are these going to look? What are they going to be? I really enjoy when you take two properties and you smash them together and you get weird wackadoo entities. This one is more in the vein of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles meets Masters of the Universe, which is totally cool, but I like it when you take the different attributes of different characters from each universe and you splice them together. I always think that that's kind of cool. There are characters in this first wave, two waves sort of deal that fully resemble that, right? Where you go, oh yeah, I can see, I can see the characters and now you've created a new being and I totally appreciate that. Whereas again, this is Ninja Turtles and how it's being built meets Masters of the Universe, right? So there is a little bit of both to be had. And my initial reaction when I first saw the figures uh, before we got to this point today, was honestly more of like, yeah, okay. And I love the Ninja Turtles, don't get me wrong, of course. And I've really gotten into He-Man over the last couple years. But this one really wasn't like, yay! This was kind of like, yeah, okay. I mean, one of those. Now that they've kind of showed off some more characters, I'm a little bit more like, cool. I could totally see how this is going to work. And there is a Ninja Turtle missing, one of the four brothers, right? So we'll talk about that. But for today, we'll go over the initial 12 figures that we know of in existence, right? So it's going to be a lot of fun. So in the meantime, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of mutagen or whatever funny thing I want to say today. This is a look at the brand new, the Turtles of Skull action figure line by Mattel, Mattel Masters of the Universe. So... The first figure will be on the Ninja Turtles side, and it's Leonardo. And again, I think the color schemes look cool. He has that little bit of a He-Man vibe going on. A while ago when they first revealed these, I made a joke on Twitter, and I said, you know, I would have loved to have seen Leonardo have the golden locks of He-Man. I think that that would be kind of funny. And I think that it's something that harkens back to the days of Playmates toys in uh, in a lot of different ways, right? Leonardo, oddly enough, comes with a shell <laughs> as a shield, right? So it kind of looks in, in a lot of ways that you can pop his shell off. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But see, if that's the case, kind of like shell storage, right? That's kind of interesting. I think that this is one of the better looking ones as far as the Ninja Turtles side goes and in, especially out of the the four brothers this one is to me the most he-man and leonardo mash together so again that will be kind of fun to see where this line goes and i know the response to this has been overwhelmingly positive which is nice to see so i hate to be such a a downer about it it's more like yeah i have so many ninja turtle things where i'm just like you know it's, eh, some of them are cool i think some work out better than others like whereas leonardo right mad props but what do you get to he-man and not to be like one of those executives in a room where you give a presentation and you go i don't get it this one i have to see let's say the source material something like that because i don't see he-man i see like an evil version of he-man as opposed to a heroic version which maybe that's what they're going for maybe he-man gets mutated and he has to be uh, stopped by the ninja turtles that can always be a thing he's billed as the most powerful mutant in the universe he kind of goes like depending on the photos he looks like he has translucent purple skin in other photos he doesn't so it kind of remains to be seen on how it's really going to end up being perhaps it's, a, it's all about the lighting, right? So maybe it's not a translucent, but uh, more along the lines of just a really ethereal-looking purpley plastic. But again, he kind of looks like, in many ways, like it, it, not exactly, but it's like it reminds me of the Toxic Crusader. Also, we'll say the, the 2012 CGI Ninja Turtles, the very last episodes with the Tales of the TMNT, and you had that roided-out 
Leonardo, right? It was like that future episode kind of thing. That's what this He-Man kind of reminds me of. So this one, Leonardo, top. He-Man, nah, not so much. This one's a, a zero. Uh, turtles are leading by one at this point. Continuing on with the Turtles, this one makes a lot of sense when you take different characters and you mash them together. Of course, this is Donatello with Man-at-Arms, the more uh, techno kind of guy, right? Mixed with the more science-y, techno-inspired turtle. So that definitely works. So you have Donatello at arms, basically. Again, the shell comes off. He uses it as a shield. I wonder what is on the backside. I'm so curious to see what that's going to be. Also comes with a Man-at-Arms weapon. He has the purpley plastic. And I'll tell you, in all honesty, this is where... The creativity to me, I wish it was more, right? Give Donatello like a mustache, right? This is more like, here's Donatello. He's the purple turtle. Give him purple armor. You know what I mean? And that to me where it kind of falls flat a little bit. Not to say that the toys don't look good, but I hope it's coming across as like, you know, I wish there was a little bit more to it, like push the envelope a little bit more. So when you have donatello as man at arms and then you look at the regular man at arms this is where i go that's not working for me that's just man at arms he has various turtley weapons and accessories which yes that totally works when you're going to have a mashup like that but it's kind of boring at the same time right he's the weapons master in a half shell i like the name more than I like what I'm seeing for the actual figure. Again, to be a little bit more turtle inspired, although then that's kind of weird because are they saying that you're trying to use the dead bodies of turtles to be the armor? And all? <laughs> you see where my mind goes, right? This one, again, with the whole He-Man side. Turtles, two for two, and Mass of the Universe, two for two on the bottom half of things. This one is just kind of like, yeah, that's, that's okay. It, it doesn't do much for me in terms of the design but then you have this krang character right and i believe that he's mixed with one of those giants like megasaur something like that megaton something like that anyway you can correct me down at the bottom but he's one of those giant characters from masters of the universe and i think that this one works to a certain degree but then krang is just Krang in the body. So you have the android body mixed with this more giant character of the Mass of the Universe franchise. It works and it doesn't for me. It's just kind of like, yeah, that's okay. The green skin. I like that you can swap out the hands and you kind of have that android sort of situation, right? But I think this one is more towards the, I have to wait till I have it in hand. I could totally change my mind. I like that Krang kind of looks like he's trapped within this character, right? Like, it's not exactly a mashup. Maybe he is controlling it. Maybe he's being controlled, something like that. So it kind of remains to be seen. I do hope that they have a lot more supplementary material when it comes to the comics and such that they include in the box, right? That would be really cool to just have more of a fleshed out story. Although sometimes when they just give you characters and you're forced to come up with your own story, that's a lot more fun as well. Now, moving on, we have the mutated ram man and this this is where i go okay that's cool that is taking the lore of the ninja turtles right any animal you touch mixed with mutagen you turn into that animal and part of me is glad that they didn't go with specific characters like bebop or rocksteady it's ram man mixed with a ram so he becomes his own mutated self whereas he man it i don't know if it exactly works right it's just kind of like yeah okay but ram man he's got purpley skin so it looks like if you're human you, you turn into clear plastic skin basically right and it goes more of the purple route but i like what they're doing here i like that he comes with the weapons i like that you immediately know okay that's ram man he's more of a mutated ram man and that fits more within the lore of the ninja turtles so this one to me uh, i definitely like so that's a, a plus one for the masters of the universe action figure line and then you have beast man which if i'm being 100 percent honest here this is one where i would go what line is this for is it supposed to be like samurai leonardo meets beast man this one is just kind of like okay japanese culture mixed with masters of the universe you know what i mean it just it doesn't really do much 
it just looks like beast man found some armor in feel japan <laughs> Not the best, right? That one, that's really all I got to say about it. I mean, it's got good paint. It's got some gold and blues and whatnot. But as far as bringing a unique character spin on Beastman, combining two of those, this is one I feel like you could really have some fun with. It's Beastman. All the animals in Ninja Turtle lore and everything, this one is kind of like, yeah, that's there it is. There's the weirdo Beastman. Going back to the turtles, you have... Raphael, right? So again, they're doing some good stuff with the turtles. Raphael has more of, let's say, Ram Man sort of armor and then mixed with other different characters I kind of see throughout. This one looks good. He does have some red nipples going on. <laughs> Traffic lights, red for stop. But again, it looks like a, the turtle shell is removable. You use it as a shield. He has a big Raphael Sai as a sword, so it's a Sai sword kind of thing. The turtles, they are what they are. I, you know, in many ways, I wish it had this or this added to them. But in terms of what I'm seeing, you get Raphael, Leonardo, and Donatello, which Michelangelo is not a part of this initial, we'll say one, two wave sort of deal. So leaves one to imagine that I'm sure we will see more of these later down the road fingers crossed or else we got a whole uh, pizza throwing don situation like with playmates did right and if you didn't catch my update on that from toy fair it's because the molds really don't exist anymore for that so we may not see down so honestly we probably won't see don anytime it's just going to be the three turtles but hopefully within this whole massive universe turtles of a gray skull line we will eventually see michelangelo now this one on the masters universe side is very cool to me. And I don't know why. I guess it's probably because October was just here. Halloween all that. This looks very John Carpenter's The Thing. Very body horror. And I really like the way that this looks. It's very different. And when I talk about mashing certain characters together. This is more of what I'm talking about. I mean you have a giant plant monster as a face, right? That's cool. That feeds into Moss Man. That feeds into mutating him with basically looking like a Swamp Thing character, right? But then going really, again, nightmarish, bodily horror. And I'm all about that. That is very cool. I just like the way you can put it on his head. You can put the Venus flytrap situation every which way. Use it all different pieces. The big arms coming out, right? Very Cthulhu and all. It just, it's unsettling. But in a very HP Lovecraft sort of way, and I'm all about that. That that that's probably one of my most favorite looking character designs out of this entire line. Well done on that. Moving on to Trapjaw. So Trapjaw, and this is kind of funny. Before I ever knew the names for these, I full on put I go watch his name be Mousejaw. I wrote that, and then they go, yeah, this is Mousejaw, and I go. <laughs> Well, now when you say it, it's, it's even more funny. So yes, this is Trap Jaw mixed with a mouser. The initial photos, I'll be honest, I kind of rolled my eyes. Like, oh, okay, I guess that's cool. Seeing it more, seeing that he comes with a mouser, seeing that you can swip swap parts and everything else, this one has grown on me. So one, I really like the name more than anything, Mouse Jaw, because it's wackadoo. And two, I like that you can create... The, you take apart the whole mouser and you got the bits and pieces that Trapjaw would use. And I like that his whole helmet is a mouser mouth. See, again, that's splicing together various elements of both and coming up with something cool. So this one, again, mixed with the whole body horror Moss Man. Uh, yeah, I think that this one is very cool. And then, if I'm being honest, this is my favorite. I love the colors. I like the design. I'm not a huge fan of the name. <laughs> So they mix, obviously, Faker and Slash. I'm a huge Slash fan. Faker, he's cool, right? He's a robot uh, He-Man. But I like that they've mashed the two together. I like the whole breaking apart of the front part of his uh, shell. You can see the inside of Faker. And then it's, instead of the whole, like, you know, gears and all that stuff inside, they're pizzas, which is even cooler, right? So again... You're really thinking outside the box and you're really getting my attention. The name of this guy is, it looks like, it's S-L-A apostrophe K-E-R. So it could be Slacker, Slash and Faker, right? Or is it Slaker? <laughs> I'm going to go more with 
slacker because I think that that fits a whole heck of a lot better. But I think that this one, color wise, weapon wise, just the the whole fun vibe of Ninja Turtles meets Motu uh, is presented here. And again, sorry, I only have one photo for this guy. Every other uh, photo asset had multiple photos. There's only one for slacker slash whatever you want to call him. So hands down, yes, this one is my favorite of the bunch. And to round it out for villains, we have Shredder. And he doesn't have any fancy name. I would have thought, see, this I think would be a good opportunity to mash together, obviously, Shredder and Skeletor. Or Shredder and Hordak, which kind of looks like maybe, well, you have different elements of of both in there. I'm actually really hoping that the faceplate comes off and he has more of a skeleton face. I don't think it will do that, but here's hoping, right? That would be kind of interesting to have something like that. This to me is just kind of looks like a super shredder and a Masters of the Universe sort of motif. So in all honesty, this one, I had high hopes uh, for this. This one is just kind of like, yeah, there he is. There's, it's just Shredder, right? He's got different armor on. He always kind of has the same thing. But to go really weird, really mesh together, Skeletor, or if you wanted to go a Snake Man, right? You could have like a Snake Man Shredder, something like that, right? That would have been kind of cool. And in all honesty, uh, more idyllic for me when you talk about a Shredder from a Masters Universe meets TMNT line. So that is all 12 figures for the initial first one, two waves. I will have more information on everything. Look for these, we'll say, in and around early 2024. And I will have pre-order information. All this is coming soon. I will have a look at the figures in hand, yada, yada. All of it is in the near future. I'll keep you posted. Come back to my channels, my socials, all that deal. Thank you so much for watching today. This was fun to kind of talk about these and give you my thoughts. And as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything. Turtles, Turtles of Grayskull. Gray gotta say in a big, mighty voice, right? You gotta emphasize the He-Man he -Man. in there. But I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to mashups, well, who better to mash them up with than the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.